Hi everyone, my name is Anne and today I'm going to show you how to do a French braid. I'm going to break it down into really simple parts. I'm going to make it step by step so that by the end of this tutorial you will be able to do a French braid but also you're going to be able to turn it into an updo. It is so simple to do. Now before I get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here and the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials coming soon. Also, if you want to see a French braid on very, very short hair, my friend Beth has got a tutorial. I'll put a link up here so that you can see that too. Okay, let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just the steps that you need to do. So I'm going to start with the very, very basics. So we're not going to go into making the perfect French braid straight away, okay? So what I'm going to do is keep my hands in this direction, okay? Because obviously when you're braiding your own children's hair, sometimes you braid like this and it's, you can't do that on your own hair. Your arm just won't work that way. So what you need to do is you're going to take a slice of hair like this. Now we're just going to start fairly low down, we're not going to worry too much about making it um, perfect and stopping it from being saggy, we'll get onto that in a moment. Just for now we're just going to work out how we're going to add the pieces of hair. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with three pieces, okay, and then just, just separate them from one another because they can get a bit tangly on the ends. Okay, so now you've got those three pieces of hair, this right side is going to cross over the centre strand. So already you can see how I'm holding the hair. You want to sort of drop one strand into this Y shape, hold on to the next strand, and then this strand is ready to go. So I'm going to take this centre strand into this hand. So I'm going to cross them over, I'm just swapping them like that. Now I'm going to hold them in my fingers here, get these fingers ready to take this strand, and then I'm going to take this, these hands and swap the centre strand with this strand here and I'm going to just cross them over like that, okay? So the first thing you can do is just practice doing a regular braid. Just practice crossing them over at the back of your head. Just practice swapping those outside strands with the centre strand. That's the first thing that you need to do. So you're going to practice doing that, okay? So hopefully once you've practiced holding your hands and swapping the strands with the center strand, you'll be ready to start adding the hair. So I'm gonna go back around again. I'm going to take a nice big section of hair and I'm going to split them into three, make sure they're not tangled on the ends just separate them. Now I'm going to take this right side over the centre strands, I'm going to swap them like so. Now I'm going to swap this left side with the right, with the centre like so. Now I'm going to hold it, hold it. But before I cross this one over, I'm going to just use my pointer fingers and hold that. And now I'm going to scoop up some more hair and as I scoop this hair up, I'm going to let this side drop into this side. So I'm going to just let it drop in, scoop them both together, take them as two pieces but they're now one, pass them over and swap, hold it, hold it, hold it. So I'm holding all three strands now. Then I'm going to come to this ear and I'm going to drop this strand into what I'm collecting. So dropping it in, pulling my finger down to stop it from tangling, and now I'm going to swap these pieces with the centre strand. So I'm going to swap them and take them across. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get this right side to, to add to this side. So I'm going to go across, drop it in, hold it and then pull my finger out and take both those pieces together over the centre strand, put the centre strand under, hold on to this right side now, hold on to the centre with my middle fingers, hold on to the left side with my pointing finger and thumb, 
Come and get some more hair from this side. Drop that left into it. Pull my finger away. And I'm going to swap those strands. And then we're going to repeat this process until we get to the end of the hair. Okay, so when you get to a certain length, you can then pull it over your shoulder and you can keep braiding down because it's really hard to braid all the way down the back of your neck. So you can just flip it over your shoulder and then that's done. There is your basic French braid. Okay, so if you can do the first step, just practicing to cross over the strands, if you can then do the second step of combining more hair in, then you are ready to then make it perfect, okay? So there's a couple of things that you can do to help your braid to be super duper perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to turn around and I'm gonna show you really clearly, there are a certain, there are a couple of things that you can do, thinking about working around the ear, and then also about how to not have a saggy neck, okay? So let's go back through this. So you, you can start this braid how high up that you like. You can start it right at the top, you can start it here, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna take a chunk of hair from here, separating into three pieces. I'm going to do our first stitch, of crossing them over. I'm going to come and get some more hair. Now I'm taking smaller slices this time just so the braid looks a bit more intricate and there's more stitches. Okay. Now every time I'm adding the hair, I'm doing a little bit of a tug. So I'm just pulling the stitch and making it a little bit tighter. So here I'm just tugging it, then walking across taking my hair, swapping it over, giving it a bit of a tug, coming over to here. Okay, so now I'm at the ear, this is a really important bit. I'm not going to keep taking going down like this. I'm going to now take from the ear about three times. So I've already taken from the ear, but I'm going to take from the ear again, and I'm going to go in a more of a triangular shape. So I'm going to go up the head, and then I'm going to cross them over, Give it a little tug, cross the sides over. Come over to this ear, go from the ear again. Add that hair, give it a little tug. I'm going to go from the ear again, but I'm going to go stay, take the slice a bit more downwards this time, but from the ear still. Go across the head, give it a little tug. Same from the ear, but going down. Okay, now, to, to stop your neck from being saggy, you want to take the rest of this now in the last two stitches. So I'm going to take, going to go from underneath it, I'm going to try and part it halfway, and then give it a cross. And a bit of a tug, scoop up the remaining hair, Cross it over. Now to keep it nice and tight, I'm going to do as many stitches as I can at the back. Because as soon as you pull round to the front, you end up sort of tugging on the hair a bit. So you want to do as many stitches as you can at the back of the neck before you then twist the hair round to the front. And then you're just going to braid as far as you can. Now depending on how long your hair is, everybody's going to be different. Okay. So once we get to the end, we're going to tie it off with an elastic and there it is. Now because I started a little bit lower down, what I like to do is I can just tease on that top section slightly so that my hair isn't quite so flat to my head. Okay, so I can just tease it a little bit and just give it a little bit of more volume at the front. I can pull down some wispy bits. If I'm not particularly happy with any fluffy bits, I can just spray them and just comb them all in. And then there it is. There is a French braid.
And it's as simple as that. It's really, really easy to do a French braid. Okay, so now you know how to do a French braid, I'm going to show you how to turn that into a bit of an updo, a really, really simple one. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna change the elastic because I don't want it to be so big and bulky. So I'm just gonna swap it over and I'm going to change it into a very, very thin elastic here. Okay, because you can see it doesn't take it very much space and it's smaller. Now, because you've been adding the hair over and over and over, you've actually made like a bit of a tunnel in your head in your hair, sorry. So it's like hollow space. So what you can do is if you see under here, this is where I'm going to put the braid. I'm going to put it in that little gap and I'm just going to wiggle it up that little recess space that's there. And you can kind of go in from these stitches and just help it along a little bit, help it to sit nice and flat inside that space and then to stop it from falling back down again I'm just going to get the edges of the braid take a bobby pin I'm not even going to open it up I'm just going to take this bobby pin and I'm going to just push it up So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please leave me a comment below. I'd really love to know what you'd like to see next and where you would wear this. So until next time, take great care and I'll see you soon. Bye.